Most people start their desk setup journey wrapped tightly in one ecosystem. Yeah, mostly those two. And for the most part, they stay loyal to just one. Until curiosity whispers, temptation clicks by, and suddenly you've opened up yourself to the other side. When that happens, your desk becomes a battleground. Mac OS vs Windows. Two titans locked in a daily tug of war for your attention. On one side, you've got raw power and the buttery smooth integration of the Apple ecosystem. On the other, raw power, endless customization and upgradability of Windows. Two wildly different worlds, but here's the good news. By the end of this video, you'll seamlessly work across both ecosystems with no troubles. First up is Synergy. On the surface, it sounds like magic. One mouse and keyboard, two computers, two operating systems, one seamless workflow. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, maybe. We'll get to the catch, or should I say two, in just a moment. Getting into functionality, here's how it basically works. Think of it like this. One computer becomes the server and the other one, the client. Your mouse and keyboard are then plugged into the server and in my case, that's my PC. On the client side, I've got my M1 Mac Mini. Now, once you install the software on both machines, you'll give a name to your server computer as well as your client computer. From there, all you need to do is drag and align your screens to best on your physical setup. Got your Mac on the left and your PC on the right, match that layout and boom, just like that, you're Casa starts teleporting across both ecosystems. It's genuinely that smooth. But wait, remember that catch, or should I say too, I mentioned a little earlier? Synergy isn't free. There's a one-time payment, and depending on your use case, the pricing might make you hesitate. But for most of us, the $29 tier is the sweet spot. Oh, and before the comment section turns into a latency courtroom, Yes, there can be the occasional delay if your Wi-Fi is doing the cha-cha instead of being stable. But if you're on a solid network, it works like a dream, or should I say a cross-platform dream. Anyway, cross-platform dreams aside, if Synergy feels as though it requires a little bit more elbow grease, let me introduce you to its cousin. Enter ShareMails. The plug and play alternative that keeps it super simple. Once you download it on the computers you want to use, make sure they are on the same network and voila! Your Casa will be sliding across Mac OS and Windows like they've been best friends forever. And here's where it gets interesting. Unlike Synergy, ShareMouse is free. But with a free version, the max amount of computers you can use is just two, which let's be honest, is what majority of the people watching this video will have. Unless you're out here running a NASA station from your house. For the select few running more than two computers in your setup, you'll have to cough up some serious coin for the license key. Now, even though it's a one-time payment of $173, for personal use, I think the pricing is a bit too steep. Anyway, license key pricing aside, here's where ShareMouse really shines. If you had the tinkering and setup process of Synergy, you're in luck. ShareMouse handles most of the configuration auto magically, but before you get too comfortable, let's talk limitations. For starters, the free version, it's the bare bones. Think keyboard and mouse sharing, copying and pasting text. Mm, that's as far as the free version goes. When it comes to file transfers or drag and drops, that's not happening unless you climb over the very steep paywall. Good thing the next software will take care of you in that regard for free. Enter local send. With it, you can send files, photos, and even videos across OS lines. Whether it's iOS, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, it's got you covered. But there's a catch. There's always a catch. The devices have to be on the same local network. The good thing is it's completely free. No ads, no feature gets, and wait for it, there's no device limit. Seriously, send a file from your MacBook to your PC, 
from your PC to your M1 Mac Mini, from your iPhone to your PC, from your toaster to your fridge. Okay, maybe not that far. Think of it like AirDrop, but across OS lines. Now let's talk setup and you might want to sit for this because it's ridiculously simple. Download it to your devices, make sure they're on the same network and just like that, you're good to go. No accounts, no cloud syncing, no sneaky paywalls, just pure and filtered file freedom. But here's the tiny little thing you need to remember. Local send only works if it's open and in the foreground. So if you try to send something and it's not working, don't panic, it's most likely running in the background. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, okay, Synergy is pretty cool, Share Mouse is easy to use, Local Send is heaven sent, but is there something that's completely free and has most of the functionalities of the apps I just mentioned? Well, there is Barrier, the rogue twin of Synergy, but without the price tag. Barrier is basically Synergy's rebellious sibling that says, yeah, I'll do everything you do for free and make it open source while at it. Now, don't get me wrong, Synergy is also open source, but not in its entirety. Anyway, just like Synergy, Barrier lets you use a single keyboard across multiple computers regardless of the operating system. Whether it's Mac to Windows, Windows to Linux, Linux to Windows, you'll be fine. What about the setup? Well, let's talk about that. This is where conflict enters the chat, more so if you had setting things up. Just to let you guys know, Barrier doesn't roll out the red carpet like share mouse. There's no auto detection, no hand holding. You've got to do a bit of port configuration, maybe tweak a few settings and summon a tiny bit of blessings from the tech gods just to get everything working. Think of it like assembling IKEA furniture, but now with no instructions. If you can get past that speed bump, you'll have full control, zero restrictions, and no one asking for your credit card details halfway through your productivity workflow. Lucky for you guys, I've got the step-by-step -step setup process. First, download Barrier from GitHub. After downloading the app from GitHub, once again, you'll have to assign one computer as the server and the other one as the client. If you're on Windows, good news. The setup is pretty straightforward. Just open up Barrier, head into the settings, disable SSL, and you're good to go. Switching over to Mac OS, oh boy, this is where the mental gymnastics begin. Okay, that was a bit too dramatic, but I say that because the moment Mac OS sees an open source app, it goes, whoa, 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 hold it right there. I better protect this user from themselves. So the moment you try to open Barrier, you'll get this pop-up that says, Barrier cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Good thing, it's super easy to bypass that. Simply close the pop-up, open system settings, then head into privacy and security. Well, in there, scroll down to security and voila, you'll see an option that says open anyway. Click it, then when prompted, give it accessibility permissions to control your computer. Once that's done, open up Barrier again, and just like we did when setting up on the Windows side, go in and disable SSL. From there, hit start to begin running Barrier on the client computer, then switch back to the server computer. On the server computer, click configure monitor, and just like we did in Synergy, you'll need to align the client computer according to the layout of your setup. Mark on the left, put it on the left. PC on the right, put it right there and click OK. Finally, reload your server and boom, you'll be good to go. But that's not always the case. Some users have complained about connection issues after completing the setup. Remember when I said you'll need to summon a tiny bit of blessings from the tech gods to get everything running? That's what I meant. All right, so we've danced with Synergy, cruised with ShareMouse, sent files across OS lines with local send, and somewhat tamed the beast that is Barrier. Life's good until suddenly your PC decides to take a nap right in the middle of a file transfer, right in the middle of a video upload. And that's when you realize you don't just need file breaches and cross-platform magic. 
you also need something that keeps your Mac and PC awake no matter what you're doing. It's not flashy, it doesn't control other computers, it doesn't beam files across OS lines, but it solves one problem that can prevent you from crashing out. Picture this, your mid workflow, you've got share mouse open, local send running, then suddenly a black screen. Your PC decided it's nap time. File transfer interrupted. Luckily, it doesn't stir you up that much to send a punch right through the screen. That's where Amphetamine steps in. And no, not the illegal kind. It's a software that keeps your Mac and PC awake on demand or on schedule. Need your Mac to stay awake for two hours while rendering a video? Done. Wanting to stay active only when a certain app is running? Easy. You can even set it to while a file is downloading so your computer knows to stay awake until the download is complete. And the best part, it's free. No ads, no app sales, just a tiny little app that quietly watches your back while your computer does the heavy lifting in the background. Well, there you have it guys, five powerful tools to make your hybrid setup smarter, efficient, and unified. No more switching keyboards, no more emailing files to yourself, just one smooth workflow between your Mac and PC. If this video helped you, drop a comment with your favorite tool or one I should have mentioned. Hit like if you learned something, subscribe if you want more amazing content, and turn on that bell so that you don't miss what's next. To watch how I built this entire office, check out this video. Until then, people of the internet, I'm signing out. See you over here.